Hello, mate. How are you? I saw this thing a few months back that said, when you get to your mid-30s, you either start gardening or you buy a smoker. Or something along those lines. You know what the funny thing about that is? A couple of days prior to that, I actually did buy a smoker. And I'm in my mid-30s. So, I guess I'm a walking cliche at this point. But putting together barbecues, and I'm sure you'll agree with me if you've ever done one, is not fun. They are like putting together IKEA furniture, but worse, with metal parts and things that just aren't designed to be done by one person, despite the manual quite clearly staying otherwise. But the benefit of finishing it is obviously you can now smoke some meat, and I'm learning to smoke different meats. It's, it's enjoyable. I find it very therapeutic, cooking and all things surrounding cooking. I'm definitely getting old because I can't imagine saying that phrase and meaning it 10 years ago. I wanted to replace the footpads on my one wheel pint. Summer now, I can go out and ride it again. Something that has a little bit of concave to it, that's, that's curved, as people that don't know. And as I was doing it, it really got me reminiscing over when I was younger and I used to skateboard and placing the grip tape on my skateboard and using a hairdryer to remove it to heat it up because that glue is basically heat stops the glue from sticking so much and then you can tear it off now I bring this up because there's so many other people out there so many creators people that shoot video and photos that started getting into this because they skateboarded and they filmed themselves or they BMXed or they rollerbladed I find that fascinating it was a gateway to this video world that I am now engrossed in and is a part of my life. Easter came and went once again, second Easter under lockdowns. And once again, showing you quite how far behind I am with getting around to edit these videos. We're in June at the time of me recording this and that was back in April. Now I know this isn't the reason for Easter, but in England, I absolutely loved Easter. Back at my parents' house, I remember walking down the stairs, looking over the banister, and just seeing a table filled with Easter eggs to be consumed. And there's something about eating chocolate in the shape of an egg that just makes it taste so much better. Big difference between Canada and England with Easter eggs is, in England you can go and get a caramel Easter egg, a dairy milk Easter egg, a Malteser one, a Twix one. They have an egg for every different kind of chocolate bar out there, but not so much in Canada, I'm sure the States as well. In Canada I find it's more about little eggs and more gifts than anything else. Chocolate shaped carrots because it's to do with a bunny and you get the occasional big kinder egg, but you don't get the same chocolate eggs that you get in England. No offense to Canada, but the chocolate in North America is not good by any comparison compared to English chocolate. I like chocolate, if you can't tell. Went back into Toronto to purchase something else. Sony FX3 this time. Went with that over an A7S3. I'm sure you've seen the video why. The whole curbside pickup thing is frustrating, I guess we could say, to keep it a little bit positive. I thought I could go in a little bit early. Hey, I'm here, any chance I can pick it up? Not so much the case. Had to wait hours. Literally wasted half a day waiting for that. What's crazier is I went to a store the other day. Again, I wasn't ready. But I knew that you could just walk up and order stuff and pick it up there and then. So I asked if I could pick up my order that I had placed online that wasn't ready yet. And they said no. Perfect. But if you tell us you what you ordered, we can grab it for you now and you just cancel the online order when it comes in and it's ready. How does that make any sense? It's a little strange. So there we go. Another one of these in the bag. And you're going to start to see me out and about a little bit more now too. I can go outside and enjoy the weather. don't have to wear hoodie anymore to keep myself warm, I can just wear a t-shirt. Like this one from Cuts, who have been sending me some products recently, and I gotta say, I really do like the fit. They don't lose their shape when you wash them. Come in a bunch of different colors. They just brought their summer collection, which has even more colors in them. If you like this style of cut around the neck, they've got that, they've got V-necks. If you like the elongated ones, where they're longer at the bottom, the split hem ones, where they fit a little bit differently. T-shirts are really nice, really, really solid. There's a 15% off discount code down below if you wanna try them out or using the discount code on the screen right here. So there we go. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.